Hi, in this video, I am going to show how AC inhibitors produce dry cough. First of all, let us see what are the AC inhibitors. Drugs like Captopril, Enlapril, Ramipril, Fosinopril, and Trandolapril are few of the AC inhibitors. You can easily observe all these drugs ending with this common suffix pril, which indicates these are AC inhibitors. How these drugs act and how these are related with the dry cough? Let us see. Cardiovascular disorders like heart failure, hypertension, cardiac ischemia, cardiac arrhythmias, and even sympathetic discharge. All these cause stimulation of the renin angiotensin system. So this stimulated renin angiotensin system then releases one of the key enzyme ACE, angiotensin converting enzyme. This enzyme converts the angiotensin 1 to angiotensin 2. Angiotensin 2 is a potent vasoconstrictor which increases blood pressure. Along with blood pressure, it also causes the sodium reabsorption, water reabsorption, as well as the hypertrophy of the vascular smooth muscle. Now, AC inhibitors inhibit the action of AC enzyme, thereby inhibit the conversion of angiotensin 1 to angiotensin 2. But at the same time, AC is also responsible for conversion of the bradykinin into inactive metabolites. So, AC inhibitors, when used for long-term use, they produce accumulation of bradykinin. This bradykinin can stimulate C irritant fibers within the respiratory tract, leading to symptoms like dry cough. Is there any alternative? Yes, of course. AC inhibitors produce dry cough, but the related drugs ARBs, angiotensin II receptor blockers does not produce dry cough as these drugs does not act on the AC enzyme but they act on the angiotensin 2 receptor they have no effect on AC thereby they does not produce dry cough. So drugs like losartan, olmisartan, telmisartan and valsartan are few of the alternative drugs for the AC inhibitors in those patients who cannot tolerate these drugs due to development of dry cough. Thank you for watching this video. For more useful resources, please visit egpad.com. For interesting articles, egpad.com slash blog. And for conceptual questions, egpad.com slash questions. Thank you.